Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the Delta 2 star and star 2 Delta transformation. We have the series connection and the parallel connection. With that series and parallel, we have one more connection that is Delta and star connection. Suppose if the circuit is connected in the form of Delta and star, how we will solve the equation by using the formulas that we will discuss now. Okay. So this is the star, uh, this is the delta connection. It is having the three terminals. A, B, C are the three terminals and it is having the three resistors. R1, R2, R3 are connected in the form of delta. This is the delta connection. Now, if you see the star connection, it is also having the three terminals. A, B, C are the three terminals. It is having the three resistors. R, A, R, B, R, C are the three resistors are connected in the form of star. If you want to convert into delta to star, these formulas we will use. To find out Ra, we will use R1, R2 by R1 plus R2 plus R3. Next, if you want to find out the Rb value, to find out Rb, the formula is R2 into R3, product of these two resistors by sum of all the resistors, R1 plus R2 plus R3. If you want to find out Rc, Rc we will find out by using this formula R1, R3 by R1 plus R2 plus R3. Okay, these are the three resistors. We will find out Ra, Rb, Rc by using this formula. Next, we will see the derivation of delta to star transformation. Okay, from the delta connection, we can write that Rab is equal to, with respect to Rab, I am writing, with respect to Rab, R1, and R3 are connected in series. R1 plus R3, that is the two resistors are connected in parallel with R2. Hence, we can write that R1 plus R3 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. This is a RAB equation. Next, if we write RBC with respect to RBC, I am writing RBC is equal to R1 plus R2 are connected in series. Okay, this R1 plus R2 connected in parallel with R3. So we can write that R1 plus R2 into R3 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. Now if we write the equation for with respect to RCA, with respect to RCA, R2 and R3 are connected in series. And these two resistors are connected in parallel with R1. So we can write the equation is equation RCA is equal to R2 plus R3 into R1 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. So here we are using this uh, series connection as well as the parallel connection here. These two are connected in series and that answer connected in parallel with R1. That's why we are using here parallel operation. This is about the delta. If you take the star connection, with respect to A and B terminals, if we write the equation, we will get RAB is equal to RA plus RB. Next, with respect to RBC, RBC is equal to RB plus RC. Sum of these two resistors. Next, with respect to RCA, if we write the equation with respect to RCA, we will get RC plus RA. This is related to star connection. Now, these are the equations we got by using the delta connection. And these are the equations we got by using the star connection. Now, since the two terminals are identical, resistance between the terminals A and B in both the system must be equal. Okay, that's why we are equating RAB and this star connection RAB and the delta connection RAB. Okay, now if we, if we equate this both, we will get A and B terminals. I am equating A and B terminals. Okay, we will get Ra plus Rb is equal to R1, R3 into R2 by R1 plus R2 plus R3. Okay, I am equating these two, A and B terminals. We will get this equation. I am assuming that equation number one. Similarly, the resistance between the points B and C being equal in the two systems. Okay, B and C are also identical. That's why I am equating these two equations. If we equate these two equations, we will get Rb plus Rc is equal to R1 plus R2 into R3 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. Assume that it is equation number 2. 
Similarly, if we take the resistance between C terminal and the A terminal, we will get the equation like this. RC, I am equating these two equations. RC plus RA is equal to R2 plus R3 into R1 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. Okay, this is equation number 3. Just equate in place of RAB, substitute RA plus RB. In place of RBC, substitute RB plus RC. In place of RCA, substitute RC plus RA. If we substitute the equations like this, we will get equation number 1, equation number 2, equation number 3. So, in the next step, add equation 1, 2, 3, then we get the equation like this. 2 into, I am I'm adding all the 3 equations, 1, 2, 3 equations, we will get 2 into RA plus RB plus RC is equal to 2 into R1, R2 plus R2, R3 plus R3, R1 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. Next, from this, if we separate RA, RB, RC, we will get here 2, 2 get cancelled. So, uh, after cancelling that, we will get RA plus RB plus RC is equal to R1, R2 plus R2, R3 plus R3, R1 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. This is equation number 4. So, after getting the equation number 4, now we will subtract equation number 2 from the equation number 4. From this equation number 4, this we will subtract equation number 2. We will get RA is equal to R1, R2 by R1 plus R2 plus R3. In the next step, if we subtract equation number 3 from equation number 4, we will get RB is equal to R2, R3 by R1 plus R2 plus R3. In the next step, by subtracting the equation 1 from the equation number 4, we will get RC. RC is equal to R1, R3 by R1 plus R2 plus R3. So, these are the required equations. Equation number 5, equation number 6 and equation number 7. These are the equations we will get if we tra uh, transfer from delta to star. Okay, this is the final formulas of RA, RB, RC of delta to star connection. Okay, now if we see the star to delta connection, how we will get the equation? So these are the equation for delta to star conversion. Now let's see the con uh, transformation of star to delta. Next star to delta transformation. Okay, this is the star connection and it is a delta connection. If you know the values of the star to convert into delta, we use the following formulas. Okay, R1 is equal to, we need to find out the R1 value, R2 value, R3 value because we are uh, transforming from star to delta. Okay, R1 value we will get RARB plus RBRC plus RCRA divided by RB. Okay, the product of sum of all the resistors divided by R1 terminal. This is the R1 terminal here divided by RB. This is the equation is used to find out R1. Next to find out R2, product of sum of all the resistors by RARB plus RBRC plus RCRA divided by RC. Okay, this formula is used to find out this terminal R2. Next, to find out R3, to find out R3, the uh, formula we will use is RARB plus RBRC plus RCRA divided by RA, product of sum of all the resistors by RA. Okay, so these formulas are used to find out the star to delta transformation. Okay, now let's see how we will get these equations. Now we will see the derivation. From delta to star transformation, we know that RA is equal to R1, R2 by R1 plus R2 plus R3. This is equation number 5. If you see the equation number 6, we got RB is equal to R2, R3 by R1 plus R2 plus R3. Next, if you see the equation number 7, we will get RC is equal to R1, R3 by R1 plus R2 plus R3. This is equation number 7. Now, multiply and add equations 5 into 6 plus 6 into 7 plus 7 into 5. If we use this, uh, so if we apply this uh, step, okay, we will get add and multiply 5 and 6 plus 6 and 7 plus 7 and 5, we will get 
आर ए आर बी प्लस आर बी आर सी प्लस आर सी आर ए इज इक्वल टू आर वन इंटू आर टू स्क्वेर आर थ्री प्लस आर वन इंटू आर टू आर थ्री स्क्वेर प्लस आर वन स्क्वेर इंटू आर टू आर थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय आर वन प्लस आर टू प्लस आर थ्री ओल स्क्वेर दिस वी विल गेट सो हियर इन द न्यूमरेटर व्हाट इज कॉमन हियर आर वन आर टू आर थ्री इज कॉमन इफ यू टेक दैट आर वन आर टू आर थ्री इज कॉमन दिस आर वन आर टू आर थ्री एंड दिस डिनोमिनेटर वन आर वन प्लस आर टू प्लस आर थ्री ओके बोथ विल गेट कैंसल हियर वी विल गेट आर ए आर बी प्लस आर बी आर सी प्लस आर सी आर ए डिवाइडेड बाय आर वन इंटू आर टू इंटू आर थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय आर वन प्लस आर टू प्लस आर थ्री दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर एट ओके इन ए न्यूमरेटर वी विल गेट आर वन प्लस आर टू प्लस आर थ्री इफ यू टेक आर वन आर टू आर थ्री इज कॉमन वी विल गेट आर वन प्लस आर टू प्लस आर थ्री आर वन प्लस आर टू प्लस आर थ्री एंड दिस आर वन प्लस आर टू प्लस आर थ्री गेट कैंसल वी विल गेट दिस इक्वेशन आफ्टर कैंसलिंग दैट दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर एट so now divide equation number 8 by 6 we will get r1 is equal to r a r b plus r b r c plus r c a r a divided by r b divide equation number 8 by 7 then we will get r2 is equal to r a r b plus r b r c plus r c a r a divided by r c Next, if we divide equation number eight by five, we will get R three is equal to R A R B plus R B R C plus R C R E divided by R E. This is the equation um uh, equation for R three. So like this, we will get delta two star transformation and star two delta transformation. Okay. So to find the de star two delta transformation, we need to know the delta two star equations. Then only we can solve star two delta transformation. So while listening this video, please take the one book and write down all the equation. Then you can understand easily. Okay. Okay. This is about the star two delta transformation. In the next class, we will discuss about the more videos.